All right, let's do activity two. We're going to need the accelerometer and the force probe. Uh, so let's select both of those. Um, we might as well start recording. And uh, you'll see right away here that the force is a bit below zero, so we might as well re-zero it. We know we can have these sh zero shifts. Uh, the force probe, I've screwed the little plate into it, so whenever I push on the little plate, I'm measuring the force over here. Very good. So what I'm going to do now is what the instructions say is to push this with a constant velocity. So let me push and stop. Okay, so that's about as constant a velocity as I can make. And data looks like this. Let's zoom in on that data. Here we go. All right, and we can smooth it a little bit. So it's a little jaggedy because I'm not very good at pushing with a constant velocity, but you can see that as I'm pushing it with a constant velocity, there is definitely an average force, which is about the same. And we can use that average force uh, to figure out the frictional force because the applied force I pushed with had to be the same in magnitude as the frictional force that I pushed against because the thing was not accelerating, it was moving with a constant velocity. So you can use this to find the frictional force and therefore you can also find the coefficient of static, I'm sorry, the kinetic coefficient of friction. All right, so that's how you find the kinetic coefficient of friction. Uh, let's now zoom in a little bit and let's see how we can find the static coefficient of friction. So I'm just going to zoom in at the very beginning of when I'm starting to move this thing. And up here, let's zoom in when this thing is starting to move and select just the y-axis. So let's go back to analysis mode. So over here, you can see that as I'm moving this thing, I'm pushing it harder and harder and harder and harder. But it hasn't started to move yet because the acceleration is still unchanged right there that's when it starts to finally move, okay? So right there, that's when the force uh, that I'm pushing with is overcoming the static frictional force. So that force right there is, can tell you the coefficient of static friction.